I've been governor about three and a half years, and when I became governor on uh, 29th of January of 2009, we only had one shift here at Ford. This is the oldest Ford plant, I believe. It was built in 1925. My grandfather, he drove a Model T. My father, he drove a Mustang, and I've dro driven a Taurus, and I think it's very important to know that Illinois is Ford country, and we always will be Ford country. We believe in the workers of Ford and this great company that today has three shifts. Uh, and if you were driving along uh, not too far from here, you saw that we're working on a massive project right now to kind of relocate the road and the rail line to make it a little bit better for Ford to get its products to market. That's part of what government does. It works on infrastructure, roads and bridges and highways and water systems, high-speed rail. All of that is part of getting a good economic base for your state. But most importantly, the most important thing in economics is the workers, the men and women who work and build the product. And in Illinois, in the last couple of years, we've had a real renaissance in manufacturing jobs. We've grown over 40,000 manufacturing jobs in our state. We want to thank Ford and many other manufacturers for growing in Illinois. We know how to build and make things. And my favorite words are made in Illinois, made in America. The people of our country know how to build quality products. They have great skill. We invest in education. We believe in education for our workers. And it's very, very important that we always remember that, that the heart and soul of every company are those men and women on the assembly line making things go the right way. But we also understand that we have to have an economic climate in our state that's predictable and certain and allows for major investment by big employers and not so big employers, smaller companies. They need certainty if they're really going to make major investments. And that's why today we're resigning a law for what's called enterprise zones that have existed in Illinois since 1982, the 30th anniversary this year. We've had enterprise zones that have uh, either created or retained about 900,000 jobs in Illinois over the last three decades. That's a good thing. But what we're doing with our enterprise zones for the next 25 years, for the next quarter century, and we worked on this with members of both parties, in both houses, with labor, with business, it was a group effort. We want to make sure our enterprise zone law is ready for the 21st century. It wasn't an easy uh, lift. One would think that the General Assembly would be concerned and was about passing a bill that has been so effective for the last three decades, but there were questions about this. And was it effective? Indeed, the provisions that the governor will sign today is making sure that those provisions are effective in keeping and retraining jobs. It provides stability so companies like Ford uh, are able to know that they will have these incentives in place to continue to expand and improve a facility like this and for the taxpayers of this state, because tax incentives are involved, always want to know, are people utilizing these appropriately and is there accountability? And there is indeed accountability in this legislation. Many members of the General Assembly, who some could not be here today, will be at some of the other stops. We'll thank at that particular appropriate place. I wanted to recognize Dave Hindeleiter, who's from the Southland Chamber of Commerce, was one of the many business groups that supported this legislation and um, making sure that it got passed and talking to their legislators. So. On behalf of the Manufacturers Association, which represents over 3,000 companies in this state, over 600,000 employees work for those companies in, in Illinois. We want to thank the governor for this and thank the members of the General Assembly for getting this piece of legislation passed. Many of you do not know the success and the opportunities that the Enterprise Zones create throughout the city of Chicago and the state of Illinois. On a daily basis, businesses are taking advantage of this because they need to. They need to remain competitive here in the state of Illinois and across the country and throughout the world. And these type of incentives by the state make it a reality for businesses, small and big, to survive in success in Illinois. And as a result, we have the jobs, which the governor mentioned several times, and everyone knows here, especially the employees behind me, how important jobs are. Ford realizes the importance of having a good infrastructure, being able to move their product in and out of the plant efficiently in a timely manner. The bridge to the left here, just to the north, is part of a $26 million project that the city of Chicago, in coordination with the state and federal government, have been working on. It's to be completed by the end of the year. And that's a vertical lift bridge, both a rail and a vehicular. Uh, it services hundreds of vehicles, trucks, and cars every day. Uh, we're looking forward to have that bridge completed. It includes paint job, electrical, 
mechanical and the deck work. So in essential, in essentially it'll be a completely new bridge. Just to the south is the large overpass, I'm sorry, underpass project, 130th and Torrance. This is a $153 million project. There's 12 funding sources, including a whole lot of dollars from the state. Now that's essential, of course, to Ford, but it's essential to the entire community. What will result there in a couple years is 130th and Torrance Avenue will go underground and will no longer have to get stopped by those trains. And as important as the trains are, the Norfolk Southern Line for moving product in and out of the region, it's important that commuters, both vehicles, trucks, and cars alike, can get in and out safely. That project will make it a better environment to get cars and rail in and out in a quick manner, and it also create thousands of jobs over the four-year period in which that project is taking place. It's a wonderful project. It includes environmental uh, elements. It will have six new bridges, including bridges that allow the foreign, Ford employees to get in and out more efficiently. So we're really excited about those types of projects that uh, are good to get people to work and are good because, because they mean long-term benefits to the community. So, Governor, thank you again. Thank you, John. Very good.